When I was in my mid-teens, Windows CE handheld PCs were released, and towards 1998, this device was released to the market. This is the HP 620LX. It's one of the first Windows CE 2 devices that run a colour screen and Windows CE 2, which included things like the cascading start menu, like you would see on Windows 95 or 98. Now the problem with this is this device, the operating system, is stored in ROM, and HP did later release a update to Windows CE from CE 2.0 to 2.11. However, to upgrade these devices meant the replacement of the entire ROM. It's November 2019 and I thought it would be almost impossible to find an upgrade ROM for this device. However, happily, I managed to find one on the internet. Therefore, in this video, we're going to be upgrading this device from Windows CE 2.0 to Windows CE 2.11. If we take a quick look in this control panel, we can see that we're running Windows CE 2.0 and the device has 16 megabytes of RAM. It's split for program memory and storage memory. And at the moment we have just over eight megabytes associated for uh, storage and eight megabytes for program memory. Now one of the advantages of upgrading a device such as this to Windows CE 2.11 is there is a lot more software built in the ROM. If we look in the start menu, there's not really very much in terms of applications. These are basically the stock applications that came with Windows CE 2. So by upgrading to Windows CE 2.11, we should see a few new control panels, a lot more options for controlling the device, such as the screen brightness, because at the moment, if we go in the display, literally all we can do is change the background. We also can't change things like the icon color background. So if I change the wallpaper to something else, you'll see the text for the icons will be blue. Let's get the zigzag. So one of the nice things about the Windows C 2.11 upgrade is it increases the amount of memory on the device. So this device ships with 16 megabytes of memory and the ROM upgrade increases that to 32. What we're going to do is power down the device. And flip it over. Now this is a new old stock ROM from HP. And in it we have the replacement ROM as well as RAM. A little daughter card. So on one side we have a slot and the other side we have a notch. So we need to make sure that when we take the existing ROM out that we note which side is which because it won't go in the wrong way. So what we do is we Pull the rechargeable battery out and here there's a little metal cover so we just bend that up and then underneath there's a pull tab for the Windows CE 2 ROM and that just slides out just like that. On this side we have the bit that sticks out and on this side we have the slot so the new ROM image needs to go in the same way. And this just slides back in. And we just bend these down and replace the battery. That's it. Now, unfortunately, swapping the ROM image on these devices means completely wiping all of your data. So I'm just going to plug it back in again. It doesn't really need it we plugged in.
And here we are at the Windows CE setup screen. So we'll just need to calibrate the display. Interestingly enough, it's remembered that it's 2019 November. And here we are, this is the Windows CE 2.11 desktop. So if we open the control panel, there's a few more icons in here now. And we can change the background whereas we couldn't before. So there's a few more tabs now in the system properties. And here you'll see 16 megabytes of memory is associated for storage and 16 megabytes is associated for program memory. So therefore the, the ROM upgrade has increased the RAM from 16 megabytes to 32. We're also running Windows CE 2.11. And now if we have a look at the built-in applications. There's a few more applications that come. One of the useful ones is HP settings. This allows you to increase the brightness of the display, which you couldn't do before. You can see how much memory is available and also we have a compact flash card in the compact flash slot at the moment and that's showing you the, how much is free and how, uh, the total size. I don't have anything currently in storage card 2 which would be the PCMCIA card slot. And now if we change the wallpaper to zigzag. So the background is still the greeny blue colour but this time if we click on desktop we can choose our own colour so the text background is now black whereas before in Windows CE 2.0 it was just uh, green so there are a lot of advantages of upgrading not only for the increase in the RAM but application compatibility there's more applications that work with Windows CE 2.11 and there are more applications built into the ROM. So that's a quick look at how you would upgrade the ROM for a Windows C device. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.